Okay, so now I'm on to the titrations of the transition metals. And the transition metals make pretty good titrations because they've got their own colours, so they make their own colour changes. So you don't need an indicator, and it can get pretty cool. But anyway, compounds with high oxidation states are usually good oxidising agents. You can figure out from this then that compounds with low oxidation states are usually good reducing agents. Iron 2 plus then is a good reducing agent because it's only got a 2 plus charge which is pretty low. What it can do is it reduces manganate and dichromate. We have to use dilute sulfuric acid for this reduction and we use this acid because a strong acid is needed to supply sufficient H pluses. However, we need to make sure that the acid isn't an oxidizing or reducing agent. For instance, if we used HCl, hydrochloric acid, this could be oxidized into chlorine. This is something we don't want because it will basically interfere with the titration of what we're trying to find out. So, iron 2 plus with manganate. To derive the redox equation for this, we use the half equations, and these are manganate to manganese 2 plus, and iron 2 plus to iron 3 plus. The colour of the end point is purple. Next we have the reaction of iron 2 plus with dichromate. To derive the redox equation for this, again we use the half equations, and we just have to derive the half equations from dichromate into chromium 3 plus, as well as iron 2 plus into iron 3 plus. The colour of the endpoint of this reaction is the green chromium 3 plus. To calculate the concentration then of the unknown from the titration, this is something that we should already know from AS, but the first thing you have to do is write out the full balanced redox equation. From this then you calculate the moles of anything you can. Once you've done this, you use balancing numbers, ratios, to work out the moles of your unknown. Then you can work out, for example, the concentration of your unknown using concentration equals number of moles over volume. If you're given a mass in your question, just remember that number of moles equals mass over MR. And here is an example that I've done myself. And you can just take a look at that, see the steps. Don't look at the answer, see if you can do it yourself. If you can, just check the answer. If you can't, you can see my working. And that's it for the titrations of the transition metals.